Hey boss, so today I want us to talk about the visualization card. Now here's the thing, the Dream Life Visualization card is a card that I created uh, when I started realizing the power of visualization. When I started realizing, let me just break it down all the way, okay? When I started realizing that if I draw out, can get a picture, uh, map out, maybe find pictures on the internet, and I put it on a piece of paper and I just have it in front of me, like on the mirror in my bathroom or on the fridge or right next to my, uh, my laptop or on my desk. And I keep looking at it and I began to visualize it and see it happening within myself. I started speaking out about it as far as this is a success. This is what happened. It was phenomenal. It was great. And I allow those emotions and feelings to just bubble up within me. And I saw it happening like on the paper and then also inside of me, it started happening. And it was the funniest thing because I remember the very first time, this was way back in the early 2000s, I wanted to put on a conference, a women's conference, but I did not have the money, but I felt very, very strongly that I wanted to do it. And so I started mapping out because it was like, okay, how can I walk by faith in this? And it was like, I had a dream, like God was telling me like, write it down. And I'm like, okay. So I get a piece of paper and I start drawing out, literally drawing out how I wanted the stage to look. I wanted the balloons. I wanted the decor. Uh, then at the bottom, I started writing like, um, you know, 50 attendees, uh, women and their daughters, because, you know, it's a women's conference. So I wanted women of all ages. Like, I just started writing it out. And on the piece of paper, when I was done, I was like, oh my God, this is my conference. And I started saying, my conference is success. People are coming from left and right. They were driving in from out of town, you know, and it was really, you know, awesome. The conference hadn't started yet. There still was no budget. I had no money. <laughs> I didn't even know where I was gonna host this conference at. I didn't have a singer or anything like that. I just knew I wanted to have this conference. And so I drew it out, I mapped it out just like I was, uh, you know, led to do. Guys, that conference forever is etched in my heart and soul. It was exactly what I said I wanted it to be. And not only that, the speaker, I had myself and someone else, a friend of mine, she came in from out of town from Florida. She didn't charge me a thing, but so many people love the conference and what we were doing that they gave. So I now took that money and blessed her. It took care of her expenses to come into town and everything. And she was so honored because she was just doing something for me as a friend, not knowing that I was going to honor her that way. After that, I was like, okay, thank you, God. I see you. I see you showing me something. And so that's how I created the visualization card. So all you're going to do is, like I said before, get a picture. Um, you can draw it out if you like. You can grab uh, clippings from magazines. You could find some pictures online and print it out or even uh, get create a collage in Canva, print it out and put it on your visualization card. On those lines right next to it, you're going to write out in the past tense, in the past tense, you're going to write out your what happened, right? And what happened is basically your expectations of what you want to see, what you feel like is going to make that event or that situation or that circumstance a success. Okay, you're going to write that out. And every single day, I even recommend two times a day, you look at that card and you visualize it. Just take 10 minutes every day and you visualize it. You see it, you envision it. How will you act when that money hits your account? How will you behave after that conference or that event, that speaking engagement was a success? What are you gonna do when they call you on the phone and they say, hey, we're confirming you as a speaker. We're confirming you as this and that. Whatever it is that you're believing for, 
write it out in the past tense as if it's already happened. You're gonna say it over and over again because repetition is the key to learning and also the key to reprogramming this because your brain doesn't know the difference between something that has already happened and something that is about to happen if you verbalize it in a way as if it's already happened. You might wanna rewind that and play it back in, okay? So you have the picture next to it. You're saying it in the past tense. So you're saying, you know, uh, the event, for example, was a success. People came from Florida, from Mississippi, even from Kentucky. Um, they uh, paid the sticker price and even opted for VIP. Uh, that's where the magic happens. Uh, people were free um, and, and ended up not committing suicide. And um, people loved the information that we gave them. One girl went and six months later uh, started a six-figure business. Um, another woman made a five figures uh, at one time and it's never happened for her before she came to the conference. I'm so happy and grateful. Thank you, Lord, for this phenomenal event, for this phenomenal occasion, right? Or uh, for, yeah, for the phenomenal occasion, right? The like it's already happened. Thank you for the results that came from this event. It was awesome. It was awesome, right? So you're writing it like it already happened, but it hasn't happened, but you're training your brain and you're speaking into the atmosphere what exactly it is that you want to see. You will see it and it will happen. Use that visualization card and it's going to take you exactly where you want to go, give you that success and literally cultivate your dream life.